Hello and welcome back to the South Downs Planetarium in Chichester. As many of you will know, the planetarium has been closed now for three and a half months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, we want to open as soon as we can to welcome you all back to the planetarium, but we're not going to do that until we are absolutely sure that we can make this place safe, COVID secure for you, our visitors, and for all of our wonderful volunteers. We thought you might like to hear about some of the things that we're doing to that end. Firstly, here in the auditorium, we have removed the entire middle row of seats, reducing the capacity in here from 96 to about 40. This will mean that we can seat all of the family groups for each show, a reduced number of course, but maintaining a two meter social distance between each family group. The experience will be different from the moment you start to book. Because of the reduced number per show, we won't be able to get so many of you in per show, so we're gonna run each show twice. When you book, you will book as normal, and we will obviously close the bookings when the maximum number is reached three hours before the show. There won't be any last minute bookings and nobody will be able to turn up having not booked prior to the show using a card. There'll be no cash payments, no bookings on the door at all. When we have the list of people who booked, we will allocate the seats on a first come first serve basis and making sure that every family group is socially distanced from every other. We're instituting new deep cleaning processes for the entire planetarium and for the auditorium. When the moment you arrive and you're met by volunteers in the car park, the experience will be a little bit different to what you might have had before. Family groups will be admitted at one minute intervals to the planetarium. You will have the temperature measured on your forehead when you enter the door to make sure your temperature isn't 38 degrees or over. And providing your temperature is lower than that, you'll then be admitted where we'll check your name on the list. All you'll need to do is to know the name on the booking. There won't be any phones or paperwork or anything required. We will then usher you into a waiting area where we'll again maintain social distancing measures. If you want to go to the toilet, there are queues for both the gents and the ladies, but again, socially distanced, and we'll only be admitting people one at a time to the toilets, and that'll be managed by one of our volunteers. We'll start getting you into the auditorium a little bit earlier than normal. So you'll need to be patient because you might be sitting in the auditorium for a little bit longer than normal before the show starts. We'll get everybody to their allocated seats, again, making sure that everybody is correctly socially distanced in the auditorium itself. When the show starts, it'll run just the same as normal. We'll go through the normal uh, evacuation procedures and the show will run for about an hour and the content will be just the same as it's always been. After the show, you'll exit through the same doors that you came in. Again, we'll be operating a one-way system and making sure that everybody is socially distanced. It's gonna be a lot going on in the sky this summer. We've got used to some very clear skies over the last three, three and a half months. We've got beautiful displays of Jupiter and Saturn and Mars, the red planet in the sky this summer, a lovely shower of shooting stars in August, and the launch of an exciting new Mars mission, the Perseverance rover, hopefully later in July. We're not sure when we are gonna be able to open. We hope it'll be sometime in August during the normal school summer holidays, but you'll need to keep an eye on our website and we will obviously open the bookings for shows uh, several weeks before the date of the first show. We look forward to welcoming you back to the planetarium. The shows will be the same as ever. The experience may be a little bit different as is necessary in the new world that we live in at the moment.